Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with another Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the videos, man. Let's get into today's topic. Uh, we're going to be doing the game status report for the Ravens versus the Steelers game. Uh, who is expected to be out there on the Ravens side of football? And, uh, man, let's, let's get right into it, all right? So, um, a lot of good news for the Ravens, um, but let's start with the guys that were officially ruled out, okay? So, Adafi Owe didn't practice all week, and Daryl Worley didn't practice all week. Both of those guys are out, all right? So, don't expect those guys to play, obviously. Um, Morgan Moses went from DMP on uh, Wednesday to he practiced limited on Thursday. Then on Friday, today, he went back to DMP, so they have him listed as doubtful, okay? Now, Morgan Moses is a guy that I think has played over 100-plus games in the NFL, a uh, guy that's really never been injured in his career. So uh, John Harbaugh said that Morgan Moses is doing everything he can to play. But I always say when I see doubtful, that's between, in my mind, 80 to 90% that guy's not going to play. All right. Um, and even if Morgan Moses is feeling how he's feeling right now, do the Ravens really want to try him out there where he's not his best? And he's going to be going against TJ Watt. TJ Watt goes over top of that right tackle. And that's what Morgan Moses plays, obviously. So, do we want a hobble, or well, not hobble because it's a shoulder injury, but do we want a limited Morgan Moses out there versus a full goal TJ Watt? Uh, I'm probably going to say no to that, right? All right, so now the big news is guys that are questionable, okay? So um, Odell Beckham, we'll start right there. He, went, he was limited all week in practice, but he said today that, I think he had a press conference today. He said that he expects to play in the game versus the Steelers. So that's straight from Odell Beckham himself that he expects to play. So I'm going to go off his word right there. This says questionable. But if he's saying he's expecting to play, I'm expecting to see Odell Beckham out there. So that's good news for the Ravens. Another receiver back into the receiving core, all right? Um, Rashad Bateman has been a full participant all week. He has no injury designation hidden into the game, which means the Ravens will have Rashad Bateman back. So the Ravens get back. Um, Rashad Bateman and Odell, they have Zay Flowers, they got Nelson Aguilar, they got DuVernay. They have the full, pretty much full complement of receiving talent out there for Lamar Jackson and the rest of his favorites offense, okay? Uh, Jalen Armour Davis, another guy, no injury designation, okay? So he's going to play uh, on Sunday. Marcus Williams, full all week. He was pretty much a full participant all last week as well. He has no injury designation. Marcus Williams is going to make his return uh, to the Ravens and be on the field for the Steelers, man. Big, big plus right there for the Ravens. Um, obviously, guys like Geno Stone were playing well, but Marcus Williams is a um, up echelon kind of safety, right? So when you get a guy like that back, you want him back out there playing. So I think Geno Stone will still get his reps, and obviously Kyle Hamilton is the other starter, but uh, Geno Stone will still get his reps. So the Ravens are really, really good at their, um, their safety depth once again. So this is good for the Ravens, all right? Um, now, guys that are questionable, um, Justice Hill, but this says full participant. Marlon Humphrey says full participant. This is the first time Marlon Humphrey has been a full participant in practice. So if Marlon Humphrey's coming back, it's a great week to do it versus George Pickens, right, and the Steelers, okay? Um, Keaton Mitchell, they put him back on the injury report. I don't know why they keep taking him on and off, on and off. Maybe he's a part of 53-man roster now. I don't know. But he was a full participant in practice. So Keaton Mitchell... Well, if he's activated, he will be ready to play. That's if he's activated. We'll see what they do. All right. Ronnie Stanley goes full, full DMP. Now, he's questionable. Uh, to me, I think that today was probably just a rest day for Ronnie Stanley. Last year, I remember that he wouldn't practice on Wednesday. So, just because maybe this is the injury this year, he's signed up to have him practice on this Friday. So, Ronnie Stanley is questionable. I would hope that means he's going to play because he had two full days of uh, full participation in practice, right? So you get Ronnie Stanley back at left tackle, get Patrick McCarry at right tackle, and um, you give him some help on T.J. Watt. You know, the Ravens, that's about as good as the Ravens can hope, you know, having a, a injured offensive line. That's actually pretty good for the Ravens. They're getting back healthy. And um, if Ronnie Stanley is back, that means they're going to have the full complement of offensive line minus uh, probably Morgan Moses. So that's, that's, that's pretty good news for the Ravens. That's pretty good news, all right? And um, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much it right there, right? So, if we look at it, right, let's, let's just look at the impact players that the Ravens are getting back, potentially. Rashad Bateman, Odell Beckham, Justice Hill, Marlon Humphrey, Ronnie Stanley, more, uh, sorry, uh, Marcus Williams, 
And uh, we'll see what they do with Keaton Mitchell. I know Keaton Mitchell hasn't played yet, but from what he showed in preseason, and regular season is a different game. We know that. But that speed, that burst around the edge, um, he can provide something different that the Ravens don't necessarily have. And Justice Hill is fast, but I think Keaton Mitchell might be even faster than Justice Hill is. So um, the Ravens are getting back multiple, multiple um, impact players and starters, the guys that are going to make a real difference in a football game. So this is good news for the Ravens. Ravens are getting healthy while other teams might be, you know, biting the injury bug a little bit more. And also that, you know, both sides of the ball for the Ravens are playing really well right now. Offense and defense are playing well. Um, we hopefully that will continue. So uh, I will get into like the um, the game preview for the Ravens versus Steelers game tomorrow. I'll drop that on the channel probably like um, like 1 p.m. tomorrow, something like that. You know, give the numbers that's going into the game. You know, give my opinion. Give me, you know, tell you who's going to be the X factor and stuff like that, right? So, but as far as this game stats report, it's really good for the Ravens, right? Multiple, multiple starters, multiple impact players are probably going to be coming back versus the Steelers. So it's good news for the Ravens. So, uh, give me your thoughts in the comments, and I'm gonna get out of here, man. It's Gabriel. It's on the Fan TV. I'm out.